I'm here at Euro Satori 2016 with Erhard Wada, Product Manager, Sales Manager, Military G-Class for Mercedes-Benz. We're standing beside what could potentially be the next addition to the long-lived G-Class family. Erhard, could you tell us a little bit about this vehicle and any other Mercedes-Benz G-Class development that you are showing at Euro Satori this year? Uh, of course, Sean. I will try to explain a little bit about the G-Class. Um, as you mentioned, it's now we are producing the G-Class now as a serial version since 37 years. And for Euro Saturday 2016, we have, let's say, brought a very special version to the fair, to the Euro Saturday fair, because there is more and more a demand we figured out for open versions for use for special forces and so <clears throat> we developed or let's say not developed but we built for the fair this version where you can see it's based on our LAPV 6.1 which is over there yeah this is the same chassis we have extended the wheelbase a little bit so from 285 we are going now to two three, uh, three four meter wheelbase to get more space for all the stuff the Special Forces will carry. We have this roll cage. The vehicle can be armored up to hip height. Yeah? It can uh, carry a ring mount for certain use. Yeah? It can have four seats, six seats. It's a kind of a multi-roll vehicle. Also, we can imagine that it could be used for, um, <clears throat> for um, carrying uh, wounded soldiers or injured soldiers in the battlefield for medical evacuation you call it and we try to come into a dialogue with a potential customer to really figure out based on a hardware um, what will be so really the demands the final demands of this kind of soldiers of the special forces that is more or less the reason <clears throat> why we have brought this vehicle to the show and the vehicle as I said is based on serial G-class um, so, in principle, you may not believe it. It's based also on, on components, like you can see over there, which is, a, let's say, a, a, a more or less civilian version, which we have slightly militarized for use for military police or so. And the, <clears throat> let's say the special here is, that's a Euro 6 vehicle, so it can be registered standard-wise in, in Europe as each and every passenger car. Yeah. So essentially, uh, the 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 vehicle to to your left is same automotive, same chassis, same serial components as this vehicle beside us, because the two look very different. Yeah, of course. In principle, yes, Sean. It's a leather frame. Yeah, it's a uh, rigid axles, front and rear. What we have here on this, uh, let's say, open version, we have uh, modified the axles to portal axles. Yeah, so standard G-Class axle equipped with portals to have a higher ground clearance, bigger tires, better cross-country, even better cross-country abilities as a basic G-Class. So, uh, as I said, it's the same chassis as our LAPV 6.1, fully armored version. And uh, <clears throat> so we think this uh, gives or well, let's say this chassis gives uh, even higher mobility and even due to the ground clearance you have also better mine protection you can have a mine shield underneath yeah so you have a certain mine protection which is better than a vehicle with less ground clearance and the LAPV 6.1 that's in service with the German army or has it been ordered by the German army the LAPV 6.1 has been ordered by the German army and the first deliveries will be this year in 2016 and we will complete deliveries in 2017 that's the plan and that, and they also have the LAPV 5.4 yes the German army purchased uh, a couple of years before it's a smaller brother of the 6.1 the 5.4 which has the same ballistic uh, protection level as the 6.1 but uh, less weight less payload uh, and uh, even uh, not set ground clearance. It has the standard axles and not the portal axles. But body-wise, let's say from the from the monocoque, it's in principle the same vehicle. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much.